What's going on, Geminis? It's your boy, Gem Mint. We're back at you with another Funko Pop haul. I broke my number one rule, which was I was not going to go on eBay and start buying pops that I couldn't find in the stores. And as you can see, I went a little crazy. Why didn't anybody warn me this was an addictive hobby? All right, y'all. Now I'm just playing. Everybody warned me that this was a, an addictive hobby, but I still think... I got it under control. What I have here is uh, I wanted to finish the Power Rangers and Simpsons lines that I've been working on from our last haul. I know that I still need a couple of uh, pieces, but we made some headway. So I'll show you what we got here, and we're going to unbox and do close-ups on all of these. I'm definitely going to be an unbox collector, but I'm going to open them in such a way where the boxes are still intact. And uh, I'm going to store them in my garage. And we're going to go ahead and put these uh, in the in little display cases that we had that you saw last time. So first over here, we have Kang and Kodos. These are the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. They glow in the dark. I hate opening these ones that, uh, that have tape on it, man. But you know what? It is what it is. I think they're also going to be too tall to fit... Um, inside my uh, units, uh, shelving units that I got. But maybe we'll just put them on top. So let's look at Kang and Kodos from the Treehouse of Horror Simpsons line. I didn't realize that that glass top was actually not the uh, packaging. Cool. All right, so let's take a look at Kang and Kodos. So I don't know which one's which. Oh, okay, this is Kang. Uh, they are kind of translucent. Like it says, it glows in the dark. Oh, their heads actually move. Very cool. They have translucent slime on the mouth. That one big eye right there. Kodos has a mean face, and he's got a, a ray gun. Also, head swivels. Very cool. I'm happy to have this. I mean, you cannot have Treehouse of Horror without Kang and Kodos, right? So... Let's put them right there. Next, we have Evil Groundskeeper Willie. This was one of my favorite uh, Treehouse of Horror episodes where it was like a, a Freddy Krueger vibe. This one came in the plastic protector. I guess you open it the same way. You know, like I said in my other haul video, I, I chose to uh, be an out-of-box collector because otherwise it just starts to look like you're living in a GameStop, man, with, with the Funko wall. I mean, hey, if it's for you, it's for you, but I don't really like it. I like the displays I have with the LED lights. I think it looks super clean. We're going we're gonna to put some more of them up and kind of give it that dedicated area on the wall out there. So here's Evil Groundskeeper Willie. Awesome. He's got the Freddy Krueger sweater. He's got the rake. He's got his trademark hair and beard. Looking awesome. This one is the, uh, what was it? Spunko Exclusive 2019 Fall Convention. And the last one from the Treehouse of Horror. This is the other exclusive. This is Vampire Burns. Let's bust him open. I worry that he's not going to fit either because he's got that big puff of hair. He's got that Christopher Walken hair. So, I don't know if he glows in the dark. I mean, he's got a weird complexion to him, too. I guess it's just a pale yellow Simpsons vibe. But you got Boo Earns. All right, last one for the Simpsons. This is the Hot Topic exclusive that goes with the regular Simpsons line, not Treehouse of Horror. This is Homer in the Moo Moo. This is the episode where he uh, deliberately gains weight to go on disability. He's got his reaching stick and his his wash rag thing. It's hilarious. All right, so let's take him out. Kind of worried that he's going to be too tall for that shelf, too. Oh, by the way, Fee is not with me in this video because she has nothing to do with this haul. Uh, this is something I did. I just ordered on eBay. She's like, look, I don't got nothing to do with what you did. You could do that video by yourself. So Homer with his moo-moo. <laughs> It was cool because I don't have a Homer for that line, right? So now we got Homer, and uh, we're going to add him to the Simpson wall. All right, now let's go ahead and jump over to the Power Rangers hall. 
Let's open up the Zords first. I'm a little upset because I did order uh, the Green Dragon Zord as well. All these were off of eBay. They all shipped them, and I got them all like the same day. But the guy with the Green, uh, green Dragon Zord didn't come through. He said he's going to ship it on Monday. This is the Dino Ultra Zord. This is when you get the combination Mega Zord, Green Dragon Zord, and uh, I forget what that big uh, Brontosaurus Zord is called. But when they all combine... They become the Dino Ultra Zord. It's a ridiculous tank-like Zord. So this is a huge Funko Pop. This was a, a Target exclusive when it came out. This is a cool piece. Uh, I don't think it's going to fit on top of my shelf area, but I have a little idea for it. So uh, I've seen other videos. The top of the head is on a swivel, so that's pretty cool. you got him holding the chains, like he's holding the reins of this... Uh, Tank, Brontosaurus, Zord. Heavy piece, man. Very cool. I love it. <laughs> That's ridiculous, yeah. Alright, so let's put him down there. Now let's get the White Tiger Zord. This is when he goes from the White Tiger to kind of his own little Mega Zord. Also an oversized pop. This will go well sitting on top of the shelf with Megazord. He's got his blade, huge head, looking like a stormtrooper. That's the white tiger Zord. Alright, so then what we have here, Lord Draken. This is a newer piece. It looks like um, it's a PS exclusive, PX exclusive, limited to 30,000. Lord Draken is Tommy from an evil multiverse who is a bad guy. He's kind of like the white and green ranger mixed together. This is an inexpensive new pop. You can get it for 10 bucks shipped on, online. And I think it's an awesome piece. Power Ranger Shattered Grid Deluxe Edition Hardcover, I think, comes out the week after I'm filming this, so it was a good timing. All right, let's take a look at them. I kind of got some paint uh, mess-ups on the top of the head here. He's got the green dagger. The paint's not the best on this, but, I mean, they're Funko Pops, man. You're there to, to put them all together. His head does move a little bit. This is cool. I like the red visor. I think that's pretty cool. Difference from the uh, the black ones. And then what we have here are all the original Rangers, including the green and the white. So I had to have the Rangers. You know, we have the villains. We have over there Rita, Lord Zed, and uh, Goldar. So now we have all the Power Rangers. I don't need the unmasked Power Rangers. I thought that was kind of a waste. So I, I think I'm really good on Power Rangers, except for... The two villains, I think it's like the rapping pig and like, uh, I don't know, some other one like that. Green Ranger, definitely my favorite. I remember me and my friends used to watch season one Power Rangers when as it was being aired. And we, we were going through that whole evil Green Ranger saga and who, who was going to be the new White Ranger. And we didn't even know it was going to be Tommy, man. We had no idea. This pop is light as hell, man. This one feels like it has more of a hollow head. Green Ranger always was dope with the... Uh, the gold vest. He's got his dagger in his in his side there. Very cool. Of course, Tommy then loses his powers from Rita, and he gets uh, and then Zordon hits him with uh, new powers to make him the White Ranger. So, and he was official tissue after that. All right, let's get the White Ranger here. But man, as the Green Ranger, he probably had the coolest Zord, the Dragon Zord. So it looks like it's the same pose. No, it's different than Lord Draken. White Ranger. <laughs> I remember those crazy songs that they would make for them. So his head moves. He's got his uh, blade. I think his blade is called Saba. It talks to him. He stands on top of his thing, right? There you go. All right, let's open up uh, Yellow Ranger. Saber Tooth Tiger.
Definitely no no regrets opening these things, man. You gotta let them breathe, right? Once I get uh, more shelving units, we're gonna open up the Marvel ones and do a whole Marvel section. So he goes Trini, Yellow Ranger. Head does swivel slightly. All right. Let's go ahead and get the Pink Ranger, Kimberly. Everyone's first TV crush. <laughs> get the Pterodactyl Ranger here. These boxes were in good shape, man. The dude I bought this from was on point. So there's a couple other lines that I'm looking at. I, I'm interested in um, the power, uh, the He-Man line and the Turtles line. Other than that, there's nothing really catching my eye right now. Yeah, her head moves. Okay. These are going to look all good together, sitting up on that shelf. All right, we got the Black Ranger. What's his name, Zack? Mastodon. So when I was a kid, I used to watch Power Rangers, but after, when they changed to the new actors, I was almost out. But, you know, I saw the movie in the movie theaters and everything. But once they started going to, like, Zeo and those other type of people... Oh, then this one is messed up on the back, man. Got a bunch of glue or something. Yeah, once they started having, like, whole different characters, I was out. We got the Blue Ranger, Billy. Triceratops. Billy is, like, the Donatello of Power Rangers. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at him. Looking good. And of course, we got the last one, Jason, the Red Ranger, who was the leader, who as a kid, I could tell both the character and the actor were not happy that Tommy came along and took his spot. That was kind of crazy. All right, Red Ranger, let's go. Red Ranger looking serious. I like how he looks. All right, guys, so that's the Funko Pop haul for today. Uh, this is the second haul video that I've done. I have only the green Dragon Zord on the way, and I don't have anything else that I plan on getting. Uh, except, actually, I, I lied. I have the Fantastic Four Wave on pre-order, and I got the new Mo uh, Mortal Kombat Classics on pre-order, which is only five pieces. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Drop me a like, drop me a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Stay minty. Peace.